Welcome everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today's set was chosen by my wife, Rachel. She picked all these tunes. Um, so I'm just, just going to get right into it here. St. Peter's Cathedral, built of granite, but ever fearful of the answer. And the candle in the tunnel is flickering and sputters and fading faster. It's only then that you will know what lies above or down below. Or if these fictions only prove how much you've really got to But I'm put on. Bum 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 bum, but I'm put on bum 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 bum, but I'm put 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 bum at St. Peter's Cathedral, there is stained glass, there is a steeple that is reaching. Up towards the heavens, such ambition never failing to amaze me. It's either quite a master plan or just chemicals that help us understand. But when our hearts stop ticking, this is the end and there's nothing past this. There's nothing past this. Nothing past this. There's 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 nothing past this. Oh, well, I kind of left my body there for a minute. Been happening today. You know, we have good days and bad days in, in this quarantine. Some days you're a little more focused than others. Uh, kind of kind of been up and down today, but um, but but it's it's on its way back up. Um, all right, here's a tune that I don't think I've played on any of these live streams because it's kind of doesn't uh, maybe maybe a little a little goofy in this format, but I'm gonna give it a shot because it was requested as such. So uh, it goes like this. Sometimes I think this cycle never ends. We slide from top to bottom, then we turn and climb again. And it seems by the time that I have figured what it's worth, the squeaking of our skin against the steel has gotten worse. But if I move my place in line, now, and I have waited, the anticipation's got me blue. I am waiting for something to go wrong. I am waiting for familiar reasons 
is all Sometimes it seems that I don't have the skills to recollect The twists and turns of plot that turned us from lovers to friends I'm thinking I should take that volume back up off the shelf and crack its weary spine and read to help remind myself but if i move my place in line and i have waited the anticipation's got me I am waiting for something to go wrong I am waiting for familiar resolve I am waiting for another repeat Another diet fed by crippling defeat And I am waiting for that sense of relief I am waiting for you to flee the scene as if you held in your hand a smoking gun and on the floor lay the one you said you loved And it's strange But they're all basically the same So I don't have Sometimes it seems the cycle never ends We slide from top to bottom then we turn and climb again And it seems by the time that I have figured what it's worth The squeaking of our skin against the steel has gotten worse The squeaking of our skin against the steel has gotten worse Of our skin against the steel has gotten worse. Well, I was hoping, like many, many uh, people in the Northwest, specifically in King County, in Washington State, where I live, I was uh, hoping today that uh, by next week we would be out of phase one and it looks like that's not going to be the case it looks like we are we are going to be in our homes for another extended period of time and um, while that is you know of course a little disappointing I for one uh, would much rather uh, be on the safe side. So, you know, while it is in incredibly disappointing, um, uh, we're just going to roll with it, man. There's, there's, there's nothing else we can do right now. We, we are, in fact, we are doing what we should be doing. And the longer this goes on, of course, the, uh, the more frustrating it becomes for a lot of people. Um, but, uh, I think it's just keep important to keep listening to, Listening to scientists and people who, as much as we, uh, as much as they can, know what they're talking about, uh, because obviously the, uh, you know, there's a where there's new information coming in every day about this this crazy, uh, crazy virus, and it's just difficult to kind of, uh, kind of not to know what's real. It's not not that at all. It's more just uh, just you know, right when we think we kind of know what what we need to know about it new information comes in. So just rolling with the punches over here. Um, here's a song that uh, from the record plans, one of Rachel's, one of Rachel's requests.
You may tire of me As our December sun is setting Cause I'm not who I used to be No longer easy on the eyes These wrinkles masterfully disguise The youthful boy below Turned your way and saw Something he was not looking for Both a beginning and an end But now he lives inside Someone he does not recognize When he catches his reflection on Accident On the back of a motorbike With your arms outstretched trying to take flight Leaving everything behind but Even at our swiftest speed You couldn't break from the concrete In the city where we still reside And I have learned but even landlocked lovers yearn For the sea like navy men Now we say goodnight From our own separate sides Like brothers on a hotel bed Like brothers on a hotel bed Brothers on a hotel bed Brothers on a hotel bed You may tire of me as our December sun is setting because I'm not who I used to be <clears throat> something funny happened to us today or I, well, I, I it wasn't super funny at the time but it became much funnier afterwards uh, you know, so we're we're doing a lot of cooking around the house, but every once in a while you just need to say, fuck it, let's just call up some delivery. And uh, there's a burrito place that we like. It's about two miles from here. It's an important detail. It's about two miles away. So I get on the uh, the little app there. You know, the app that you that does the ride service but also sends you the food. And, uh, you know, I ordered up some burritos. I'm getting pretty hungry, excited about this burrito showing up. And, uh, you know, it's a thing I see. It's like, hey, they're, they're making your food. You know, it's a little thing. Oh, okay. They're making it. And it's like, okay, it's ready for, for pickup. I'm like, oh, that's great because I'm hungry. I'm excited about this burrito. And uh, <laughs> it said... Uh, it said that when, it, the, when the guy had picked up the food, or at least the, the first guy that was going to pick up the food, it just said, Milo is walking. And I looked at the app, and it's just like, there's not a car. It's just like a guy, like a dot, which is like the guy. And I'm like, you know, if Milo lived around the corner, I'd be stoked. But <laughs> it was like, it was like, it's a, it was like, I've never had anybody on, the, on like an app like that be walking. You know, it's like usually... <laughs> I would always seem like owning a car or having access to a car was like the one prerequisite to working for this company. And I was like, what? And, um, you know, uh, eventually Milo disappeared and someone with a car uh, showed up with the burritos. But for a second there, I was like, this guy's going to walk this burrito two miles to our house. And I mean, actually, I was hoping that he kind of would, even though I was pretty hungry because I was like, I want to talk to this dude. I want to curious like what this guy's whole deal is he's like forrest gumping the food around it it's kind of interesting but, you know 
is a happy ending. I got the burrito, but kind of just wondering how Milo's doing actually. It's a backwards attraction. So far sighted that you can't place trust in what or who you recognize. The Plymouth cross the banks of the Mississippi River. Married Sam and me was smaller than a Super Bowl. Chitter chatter, all these secrets started giving me the shivers. Plain and simply broken down, near Olympia. I think your bruise was understated. Feel this anymore. It's getting blue, and you can keep faking. But you can't feel this anymore. It's a song from our first record called Your Bruise. And uh, in the song, I make reference to a musician by the name of Mary Timoney, uh, who's in a band called Helium in the 90s that I really liked and that the person, the subject of the song was a big fan of. And, uh, and I didn't think anything of it at the time until we showed up to play at the Middle East in Cambridge on our first national tour in 1999. And he played with this band uh, whose name I, I can't recall off the top of my head, but they were friends with Mary Timoney and Mary Timoney was at the show. And uh, I was terrified. I was petrified because at that time, Mary Timoney was like, she might as well have been like John Lennon. You know, um, I was in, super enamored with her band and I was very young and impressionable. And I was, and you know, I don't think that I don't think to I don't know to this day if she had any idea that we had a song that name checked her. But if she did, she didn't she didn't make any kind of there was there was no acknowledgement of it at the show. And to this day, I don't know. <laughs> we have a lot of mutual friends that we've never actually met before. So um, it's something I have to get down to the bottom bottom of at some point. Um, let's do let's do another tune and then let's uh, we'll do some questions. So you got some questions getting lined up. I don't know where to begin 
There's too many things that I can't remember They disappeared like a trend In the home of the five in the early morning And now I'm taking my time Up through Coalinga, through the valley This highway lived in my mind and it takes me back to the place that made me was I in your way When the cameras turn to face you Go in frame Face you Cannot outrun a goal Speeding southbound lanes with the band and it catches you on the coast or on the cliffs of the palace says you killed the engine and then it hovers above reeling bodies failing to discover the thing they once knew is love raising their voices to convince one another was I in your way when the cameras turn to face you? No room in frame for two. And how can I stay in the sun when the rain flows all through my veins? It's true. And I guess it's not a failure we could help And we'll both go on to get lonely with someone else With someone else Was I in your way? When the cameras turn to face you, no room in frame for two. And how can I stay in the sun when the rain flows all through my veins? It's true. And I guess it's not a failure we could help And we'll both go on to get lonely with someone else All righty. All right, somebody asks, uh, what is your favorite song to cover? Um... Man, you know, I, it's, you know, I, it, I think one of the reasons I choose the songs that I choose is because they're very, really meaningful to me in that moment. And I choose, it's not that I have a favorite song, but pretty much every song that I've covered, not only on this show, but just in general, is a song like I wish I wrote. And I think, oh man, that is such a good fucking song. I wish I had written that tune. And so getting a chance to play it yourself kind of gives you an opportunity. When you learn it, you get to see how it works. It's like taking the machine apart, taking the car apart and see, seeing how the engine works. Um, so I don't, have, I don't have a single song that's my favorite, but pretty much every song that I choose to cover is one of my favorite songs in that, in that moment. Um, oh, here's a good one. Where is it? Uh, where did it go? Oh, they're, going, they're coming pretty quickly here. Ah, uh, here we go. Did y'all ever have a rival band when you started out? <laughs> um, you know, we we kind of did. We had a rival band, and um, but there's just really nothing that can go nothing good that can come out of me like shit talking a band that either no longer exists or that uh you know it, it did not kind of has not had the success that we've had so 
But there were a couple, there was, there were, there were two bands I can think of. One was a band in Seattle that we always ended up playing with. And they did that shit that when you're playing clubs, it's really annoying uh, where they would play say second of three and then they would play for like an hour and then break down their equipment on stage, <laughs> just adding time to change over. And, you know, we'd be like playing last or something like that. Not headlining, because that wasn't something that we did back then. Playing last was different from headlining. I'm sure anybody who's in a band mm. kind of playing clubs understands that. Um, and so we ended up playing with these guys a lot. And it's just like, God damn it. Every time they would just play forever. And uh, that was that was a big no-no. And then once we kind of, kind of established there was a band that was kind of touring around the same time we were in the early aughts that... Um, internally we were just like i can't fucking stand this band and i'm sure we were probably that band for someone else as well but it wasn't that they were bad people we just uh we just wanted to be everything that they weren't um and like i said it, it's there's no point naming names because it's old shit but you asked so <laughs> uh okay Wait, where was it there craziest fan story um Our, our fan stories tend to be pretty mild, but I do remember there was a time we played in Minneapolis in the early days. And in the early days, we were in the van, we'd say like, hey, um, if anybody has a place to stay, you know, you know, I got couches, a floor, we want to, we'll come crash, we get, we guys give you some records, whatever. And that's just kind of what we did. What fans still do. And, you know, definitely we did at the time. So, you know, it was a show we were playing in Minneapolis, maybe 30 people, not a lot of people. And uh, this woman was like, um, yeah, you can come stay. You can come stay with at my house. I have a whole house. It's just me. And we were like, this sounds great. And so she hopped in her van. We were going back to her house. She was a very nice lady. And but it was on the way to her house that we started realizing that she was just a little off. But we'd already committed and it was like two in the morning. And we're like, you know what? Worst case scenario get a couple hours of sleep, get out early, start driving. So we get to uh, this, this woman's house and we get in, we bring our sleeping bags in and, uh, and um, we notice in, in all the corners of the house, there are piles of torn up newspaper and toilet paper rolls. They're just like piles, every little corner. And, um, and so one of us was like, Hey, what, uh, What's, what's the deal with that? And she says, oh, I have um, hamsters and I just don't like to put them in cages. So I just let them run around the house. <laughs> so I think I ended up sleeping in the van that night in the, in the driveway. But uh, all night long, apparently, they were just skittering hamsters running around <laughs> the house. And outside of that, it was a nice house. Um, but it was really disconcerting to have rodents running around free range the whole time. <laughs> um, and then I think I accidentally stole her toothpaste because that looked like mine. But uh, yeah, I mean, we have a lot of, I mean, there's, there are a ton of those kind of stories. You just kind of throw yourself at the mercy of, uh, we would throw ourselves at the mercy of someone uh, who said we could stay with them. And more times than not, it was totally fine. But then there were also moments where uh, she got a little crazy. Uh, but that's kind of part of the adventure of being a band at that point in your career is you just kind of, you end up with a lot of weird stories like that. Um, okay. Uh, okay, let's do, let's do two more here because I got a bunch more songs to play. Um, let's see. Favorite trails in Washington. I grew up um, in Bremerton, as some of you might know. And, uh, and, when I was a kid, my parents took me into the Olympic National Park a lot. When I was a kid, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. I want to play with my friends. But it made a lasting impression on me as to how incredibly beautiful um, uh, Washington State is, but also how incredibly beautiful and expansive Olympic National Park is. And there are so many trails in Olympic National Park. There's hundreds of miles of trails. But some of my favorite uh, routes when I go out running or kind of run hiking now are Mount Townsend uh, and, Mount, and uh, uh, Buckhorn Mountain in the Olympics. And there are 
you can kind of drive up into there. That's about three or four mile hikes up to the tops of those peaks. It's not super high, like 6,000 feet. Um, and uh, it's really beautiful on a clear day. You can see forever. So I would recommend uh, a day hike up uh, up uh, Mount Buckhorn or, or Mount Townsend. Um, okay, one. let's do one more here. Uh, is the 703 and lack of color reference to the DC area code? It is, in fact, a reference to the DC, DC area code. Uh, that is very astute of you noticing the subject of the song uh, lived in DC. Um, maybe I'll do one more because that was short. Uh, let's see. Did Derek Urban do the artwork for We Have the Facts from Voting Yes or Any Albums? No, he did not. Uh, we actually did not know each other back then. Um, uh, it was it was by a, a couple named Julian Christick over who did the artwork for that record. Um, but Derek has done some posters for us, and um, we own a bunch of Derek stuff in the house because we think he's the bee's knees. Um, and he's, he's just a good dude. Um, all right, uh, let's do some more tunes here. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right, leave that one up for now. Uh, and if you guys are just joining us, these are all songs that Rachel requested. I gave her the gave her the uh, ability to make the set list today. So uh, these are these are some of her choices. This place is a prison. These people are your friends Inhaling thrills Through twenty dollar bills And tumblers are drained And then flooded Again and again Guards at the on rails, armed to the teeth. You may case the ground from the Cascades to Puget Sound, but you are not permitted to leave. I know there's a big world out there like the one that I saw on the screen. In my living room late last night, it was almost too bright to see. And I know that it's not the party if it happens every night. Pretending there's glamour in candelabra while you're drinking by candlelight. What does it take to get a drink in this place? What does it take? How long must I wait? What does it take to get a drink in this place? What does it take? How long must I wait? How long must I Rachel really went. She, Rachel went into some deep cut territory here. Uh, There's one, another one from the first record. Mm -hmm. 
think I'm drunk enough to drive you home now I'll keep my mouth kept shut under lock and key the trusted firm no lie Cause all these conversations wind on and on, on and on, on and on. Drinking champagne from a paper cup is never quite the same. Every sips moving through my eyes and up into my brain at half past two about time to leave cause the DJ's playing rhythm and blues sad sorry state stutter step to the slamming bruise as we're waiting around for Think I'm drunk enough to drive you home now. I'll keep my mouth kept shut under lock and key that's rusted for no lie. Cause all these conversations wind. On and on, on and on, on and on. All right, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna break from uh, Rachel's request for one for one song uh, because it's an odd thing to celebrate. Uh, in quarantine, but I did have a single come out today. And uh, it's a song I played, I think on piano at one of these earlier shows called Proxima B. And uh, for those who might not be familiar or didn't watch that particular live stream, uh, a couple of years ago, I read about a new planet that was discovered deep in the cosmos. Uh, and it was, it was named Proxima B, not the most inventive or exciting of names, but that's what it's called. And I was determined that uh, it might be the most habitable planet uh, that astronomers, astronomers have found uh, to date. And uh, it, uh, it orbits a, a, uh, a star called Centauri, which you'll need to know for the song. And, you know, as we, as we continue to destroy this planet that we're on, Every once in a while, there's speculation of leaving for Mars or somewhere else. And so, oops, I decided to write a song uh, about that exactly. So, so it goes like this. Um, and you know, uh, shameless self-promotion. It's uh, it's available on all your all the normal streaming sites that everybody likes. Oh, this world's starting to bring me down The ocean's rising and we're all gonna drown There's a place where you and I can go We can start this whole mess all over Proxima B, 
bathed in the glow of sensory. Proxima B, careless and free. Don't try to tell me that there's no second act. Your goodbyes and get your suitcase packed. Cause what's the point of trying to save this place? And there's another out in outer space. Proxima B. From where return is in guarantee. Proxima B, the stars are a sea. Proxima B, bathed in the glow of Centauri. Proxima B, careless and free. You and I are gonna get it right We won't make the same mistakes twice Everybody's starting to figure it out Our little planet slowly trying to crash Proxima B From I remember when it was just you and me Proxima B Careless and free Proxima B Bathed in the glow of Centauri Proxima B The stars are a sea cool thing about today is that there is an anonymous donor who will remain nameless, hence the anonymous part, uh, who is offered to triple any donations today. And uh, that's really amazing. And I want to thank that person uh, right now with namelessly. Thank you so much. Uh, and today's uh, organization is an organization that I uh, I have been a supporter and a member of for a very long time, and that is the Northwest Film Forum on Capitol Hill here in Seattle. Um, uh, the Northwest Film Forum is is more than just a place that shows artful, interesting movies and independent cinema. They offer classes and camera rentals, and uh, they are they have been doing for a number of years a wonderful job uh, promoting uh, and teaching uh, Northwest filmmakers and budding filmmakers of all ages and ethnicities and uh, backgrounds. And, uh, and they're also near and dear to my heart because uh, when my friend Lynn Shelton passed away almost two weeks ago, uh, she wanted all of the, any donations, flowers, whatever, you know, when people pass away, uh, you know, there are recommendations as to where people should send donations or where they should send flowers or whatever. She didn't want any of those things. She just wanted uh, people to donate to the Northwest Film Forum. And I know that in these uh, troubling and trying times, one might ask, 
what's the point of supporting a place like that now? And I'll tell you, the answer is because I, for one, uh, want places like the Northwest Film Forum to exist when this is all over. And without support, uh, there's a very real possi possibility that some of our uh, appreciated and beloved institutions and uh, uh, places that promote and help people create art might not make it. So uh, this is the last live stream for the time being. Um, not this is not the last one ever, but this is the last one for the time being. And I, you know, in a final push, I would ask you that if you've been watching all this time, and uh, you have not made a donation yet, uh, because this is going to be tripled by uh, an anonymous donor every little bit. Five dollars becomes twenty dollars triple. They will triple it, so it'll be four times. So they will match your donation three times over. So if you give $5, that becomes $20. Um, and this is a really uh, wonderful opportunity to uh, give a gift to um, a place that I uh, I personally care for very deeply and that uh, one of our great Seattle artists uh, also cared for very deeply. And um, it would, it would mean a lot to me if you guys would consider uh, uh, giving a couple bucks uh, in the Venmo below here. So uh, with that, I got a couple more tunes for you and uh, we're gonna play this one here. I took the 405 and drove a state down into your center and stated that it's never ever been better than this. I hung my favorite shirt on the floorboard, wrinkled up from pulling, pushing, and tasting, tasting. Twisting the truth That keeps me thrown askew Misguided by the 405 Cause it led me to an alcoholic summer I miss the exit to your parents' house hours ago Red wine and the cigarettes Hide your bad habits underneath the patio Patio, patio, patio You keep twisting the truth That keeps me thrown askew You keep twisting the truth That keeps me thrown askew guys i'm gonna play one more here uh do not despair um that this is the last weekly show uh i'm gonna keep doing these this has been a really 
enjoyable experience for me. And I'll admit I was very nervous when I started the first one, mm -hmm. first couple. I just didn't know how this would go. I didn't really know who would be watching and, you know, what you guys would think and everything else. So I have to say, I've been really, it's been really wonderful to see the community uh, blossom around me doing these little shows. And I, I see you guys talking in the, in the chat before the show starts. And it really warms my heart to think that some of you guys are connecting over these tunes and uh and it, it really means a lot to me it really does I, I i so appreciate you guys tuning in and watching and i hope that it's been uh therapeutic i hope it's given you an opportunity to at least for an hour or so forget about the state of the world the state of your town the state of your job because uh, at the end of the day uh I exist here to entertain you, and I want to make things that you like, and I want to brighten your days, uh, because when I'm able to, if we, I, the band, whatever, is able to kind of make you guys feel a little less alone, a little more connected to other human beings, uh, maybe to feel something that you kind of had buried for a while for reasons of self-preservation, I, I'm feel very uh, humbled that that uh, we've been able to do that or I've been able to do that. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, keep an eye on the Death Cab socials. I'm sure there'll be another one of these coming up in the, can't say when, but it, it won't be too long. Uh, but uh, we're just gonna, this is, will be the last, the last weekly show. So um, here we go. There's a song, the last song that Rachel requested, something I have not played yet. to trust it maybe not from these sources you have poured yours maybe not from the direction you are staring at Twist your head around It's all around you All is full of love All around you You just ain't receiving Your phone is off the hook Your doors are shut In any language All is full of love all is full of love. All is full of love. All is full of love all is full of love 
All right, guys, take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.